everyone, I'm Liz Brown Swanson and welcome to Around the Peninsula. Today I am at our community's most beautiful, luxurious, world-class Terranea Resort because Terranea is celebrating its fifth anniversary. This is so exciting, so much is happening and joining me now is the Executive Vice President and Managing Director of Terranea, Terry Hack. Big congratulations for starters. Thank you. We're so excited. It is so, so exciting excited to be here and you have so many accomplishments to be proud of for you and your team. What's it like to reach a milestone like this five years? It is very exciting and I'm just thrilled to be sitting here with you as we sat here when it was dirt. It's so exciting to know that this milestone five years were we're just um, so pleased. I know I think back to that opening day when we were here in June and and uh, it was hot and beautiful and just all the pomp and circumstance and it just time flies when you're having fun. Yes, <laughs> it was a beautiful day that day and, and I recall saying that we will start making memories right. and I think from that moment on we've been doing that. Just for starters, some questions like from when you first opened the doors here, since you've opened, like I'm curious how many guests can you estimate have walked through here? Oh my goodness, there's so many because we count guests overnight guests, of course, but then the numerous guests that just come walking for a stroll or just in for a meal. So um, I would say millions, really. When you, re when you look up this resort on the internet, you are a world-class resort and one now noted as one of the best in the world. Thank you. So that's, that's incredible. Um, and of course, we were talking earlier that we all like to hear about the famous people that come here. Now, I Liz. One, <laughs> I know you won't share that. I remember seeing Britney Spears was there, you know, at the pool, and but you won't share. <laughs> I can't tell you that. Part of our charm is that people can come down here, famous and unfamous, and just escape. And they know that their secret is safe with us. So I'll never tell. All right. When the guests come here, you know, what is the Terranea experience? What do you want to await them when they come? I mean, there's just, you have it all. We want them to really script their own stay. Whatever they want to do, if they just want to relax by the pool, then do so. If they want to be really involved and go kayaking or bike ride or horseback riding, they can do that. It, we really want them to say, this is my resort and here's what I want to do today. If they want to go to the spa, if they want to play golf, it's really unscripted. I say go to the spa. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> In the beginning, when we before you even opened, you were faced with financial hardship. You were trying to open a resort, and what was really one of the worst economies ever. Yes. And, um, but you turned it around. How are you, were you able to make this a profitable resort and, and it's such a success? I think it was a very troubled time for all of America and American economy. And our bank did um, have some troubles and stopped lending just shortly before we opened. And so to um, garner as much strength as we could to just set forth and say, we're going to open, we're going to do it gracefully, we're going to garner as much business as we can. So we never moved from that platform. We said, we are going to open and we're going to not only survive, but thrive. And so we've continued to put our best foot forward, continued to grow our business. We have about 38% of our business is repeat guests. So year over year, people continue to, um, they may come for just a night and then next year, two nights, next year, three nights. Um, but it's really, it's about keeping um, your sense of self and not getting afraid of the unknown. And there was right. a lot of unknown at those early days. One thing we know is certainly can gauge your success is just looking within the, our own city of Rancho Palos Verdes, the amount of millions of dollars that have come into the coffers um, through the transient occupancy tax. It's just tremendous you know, you. help to the community. Um, what do you want the residents to understand about the fact that you, how much you do contribute, that revenue stream that you generate for RPV? Yes, early on, there was some controversy regarding TOT, and um, we actually even thought about um, wanting to borrow some, some of our own TOT that we were to um, pay later. We did not do that. Some of our residents still think today that we were borrowing from our city. In fact, we did not do that. Right. And I am so excited to report, and it's public record, so I'm not really saying anything that's um, not for public disclosure, right. but we'll cross over the $14 million mark at the end of this year of our TOT tax that we're giving back to the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. Yeah. So I'm so pleased with that, and I think that that's really helped 
goes into the general fund, so it helps infrastructure and roads and improvements within our city, and I'm very proud of that. Right, and that TOT, just explain what that comes from. Is that just a rooms tax? I mean, what is those, where yes. do those dollars come um, from? TOT is transient occupancy tax, so it's only assessed on an overnight room, room revenue. So it's our visiting guests pay uh, transient occupancy tax, so it's not on food. Right, um, so it's on just on overnight. That come in, none of that. Just on overnight rooms. Our mayor Jerry Dehovic, we talked about the resort, what it means to the community, to him and his family. So he has a big thank you and a congratulations, of course, to send to everybody here in your team. So we're going to take a quick break and we're going to hear from Mayor Dehovic. We'll be right back. <music> On behalf of myself and the entire city council, I'd like to congratulate Terranea on their fifth anniversary. Uh, they are truly a jewel in this community and we're very, very happy to have them. So again, congratulations to uh, Terry Hack and her entire management team and everybody, the, the thousand or so employees that work down at Terranea. You know, they, they've brought a very positive impact. Uh, they are a world-class resort. It's a destination resort. and. Uh, I know not only I, but many, many people consider that one of the jewels of Rancho Palos Verdes. So they, uh, the place is just spectacular. What can you say? You've got to go down there and look at it. It is, it is really, uh, um, you know, almost beyond words. This year, we're looking at Terranea to provide about four million dollars in transient occupancy tax, uh, which is just a huge, huge number. And and obviously that has to do with their success. They have. Uh, not only on the on the uh, room side and just visitors coming, but on the corporate side, they're doing very, very well. So uh, keep it up, Terranea. We could use that revenue. Of course, Mayor Dehovic, you know, said it best how you have just been an incredible community mm -hmm. partner. And I'm just wondering, from your perspective, how the community, you know, gives back, how, how they are involved here. We are so fortunate that so many of our community friends are here sometimes every day. Um, <laughs> many of our food and beverage um, revenue is from just right right around the peninsula here. Approximately 60% of all of our revenue here in food and beverage, spa, golf, are from our local community. And so. even people that will come stay here. Now the new staycation is such a way to go. So yes. for local residents to come and spend the weekend here versus mm -hmm. traveling. You're seeing, are you seeing more of that? We're seeing a lot of um, anniversaries, treating um, mom or dad to, for their birthday. Um, night away, leave the kids at home, and you know, literally, they're three blocks away, and they're staying with us. So, right. and as far as you know, we talk about the community involvement um, with the resort. You do a lot with the nonprofits. We do. We, we really, it's really part of our mission. It's our um, sense of giving back to our community in in as much of a meaningful way as we can. It's really important if we're going to be in this community forever, we want to be looked upon as a really great corporate citizen, and that's what we're trying to do. And just all the effort that you put into from when you open the doors to really make this feel like this is a place that represents the peninsula. I mean, the fact that this was marine land. Yes. We're sitting here um, in, in this wonderful room where we see art from local artists. You've worked really hard at that. We still have um, all of our original relationships from the very beginning. Portuguese Ben, Art Colony, all the marine land. Um, our association with marine land will always be part of what this land is about and all of our other charities. So we've stayed very true to that in the five years that we've been in existence. And, and I um, believe we will um, into the next five years. Right. Let's talk more about your team, uh, Terry and her Terranea team. You have, I think, is it 1,250 plus employees here? Yes, and yes. That makes you like one of the top employers in the county. Yes, we're very, very proud of that. We started um, with, you know, 300 associates way back in 09 and have grown to um, over 1,200. And that doesn't include our vendor partners who also um, right. help us with staffing. And many of our um, local residents, their young children, this is their first um, experience in working. Many of them will work here this summer and mm -hmm. some have worked here every single summer since we opened. You, I mean, just the, managing such a big staff for you, I mean, we know you're a superwoman. Uh, you have received, <laughs> thank you. you know, awards um, nationally around the world for your role as a woman too in the industry and, and congratulations on all that you've done. And, um, but I'm curious about your leadership philosophy. I just think You always that look happy. I <laughs> am happy. I have I have the most joyful job in the world. I absolutely every single day get to one, drive down this beautiful drive 
and make a difference in people's lives, whether it's someone staying here, whether it's someone in our community, whether it's um, someone who's working for us. It, I get to make a difference and positive one, and it's, it is just the most rewarding career I can imagine. Yeah, but for you to stay connected to so many people, I mean, how do you do that? I know you have a thing, I think, is it Terry's Talk? Oh, think, talk to Terry. Oh, talk to Terry, yes, what's that all yes. about? Yes, we have computers down in our associate dining room that our um, associates can send me emails and it comes directly to me, does not pass go, it doesn't go to HR, it comes straight to my computer and I answer them directly. Um, I'll phone them if they'd like, I will um, email them at home if they'd like, um, and they just tell me everything. Um, oh, good, the bad, and the ugly, and, <laughs> and it helps me understand what they're thinking. Because this is your five-year anniversary, I thought it would be fun to meet five employees here mm -hmm. out of the more than 1,000 that you have that have been here since opening. And uh, so we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to catch up with five Turner employees that have been here since day one and hear their stories. So stay with us. My name is Kimberly Gardner. I'm the night manager for the Terraneo Resort. My position entails taking care of all the late night travelers that come in. And we do have a lot of late night families that come in. Our, our position here is to make sure that they're settled in properly, make sure that they know all about the resort. So when they wake up, they wake up to a beautiful, beautiful, breathtaking view. <laughs> and that way that really gets the ball rolling for enjoying this place. It's been very rewarding for me because I get to meet and uh, take care of so many people from all over the globe, from all walks of life. And uh, it's been a pleasure to, to see the smile and the happiness on their faces. You know, when, when they come here and they see what it is that they're coming to at nighttime when they come to me, oh, there's not much to see. But, you know, when they get, you know, when they open their eyes in the morning and they see such a gorgeous view and they're, they're taken aback and, and that makes it all worthwhile. Good morning, my name is Francisco Gomez. I'm the assistant director of housekeeping. Uh, I'm oversee the housekeeping department. My team is responsible basically for the maintenance of the public spaces and also for getting the rooms clean and ready for the guests. I think housekeeping is uh, pure relationships. Uh, I think that you create a relationship with the room attendants and also with the guests. The interaction with the people basically is, is, is the fun part of my job. My name is Elena Montgomery. I am a senior hairstylist in the salon at the spa at Terranea. Um, I do hair, makeup, and nails. Since the beginning, I was actually the only stylist in the salon, and we've grown a lot. So we've got four stylists um, in total now, and we have uh, quite a few nail techs as well. Um, we've, uh, what I, I guess what I really love about my job is that I get the opportunity to work with uh, a wide variety of people. I get to uh, meet a lot of people in the local area, um, LA and Orange County, as well as here in PV, which is awesome. Um, and then I get to meet people from all over the world that come and stay with us, so I really love that. Hi, my name is Mike Hill, and I'm the head golf professional here at the Lynx at Terranea, and I've been here for five years since the opening, and what a great place it's been to work. Um, every day, driving down the, uh, the main entrance road, looking at the beautiful ocean, and saying, hey, I'm working on the golf course here. Uh, support from the community has been fantastic. Um, we have a ton of play. Um, just from the community, from the South Bay, from here on in Palos Verdes, Rancho Palos Verdes, um, Long Beach. Um, we, we have a great program where we do give uh, locals great rates if they buy what's called our Lynx card. Um, it's our best, best rate around and uh, we have, we've seen um, great play from, from the community here. My name is Luisa Esquivel. I work at Catalina Kitchen. I've been here for five years. Before Terranea, I was in real estate. Um, things weren't going too well, so I my daughter was working here, decided to give it a try, and here I am five years later. Everybody I meet, they're like, wow, you work at Terranea. I've been trying to get in there. I was like, really? Well, come on, we need you, because <laughs> we're growing so much. No doubt every one of the employees I caught up with are so feel fortunate and thrilled to be here. Oh, they're really great. And, you know, I'm wondering, since you opened the doors five years ago, like, you know, how many employees do you have here that have been here really from the beginning? We have about 71% of that original hiring are still here in various capacities. Almost all of them have moved to different departments and we really try to promote within. So we always look within our organization first before we'll um, transfer somebody, before we promote somebody. So. And when you first opened, you had about 400 employees yes, and yes. now you're up to over 1,200. Yes. So. Yes. This is great. Um, I want to talk a little bit about you personally and how you became interested in this industry to begin with because I think you've been in now the hospitality business for more than 30 years. Yes, I'm old. No. <laughs> um, you it, started when you were five. Yes, five. But 
It has always been in my blood. I, I grew up in a very large family. I have seven brothers and a sister. So I kind of, all this chaos is kind of you just had your part, own of, yeah, hotel at home. part of my <laughs> life. But um, um, early on, we would go uh, fishing and camping in Colorado as our, as our um, vacations because it was all boys and, and me. And one such summer, it had rained for about 14 days, so we um, sought shelter and warmth in a small little motel. And so I, I went into the motel's little office and I asked the lady if I could help her. And she was putting styrofoam cups up and, and <laughs> I, I said, may I help you? And she goes, of course, but you have to have the same number of cups in each row and they have to be straight. I'm like, oh, I can do that. I'm 12 years old. And so I did that. And then she's putting brochures in the brochure rack. And I said, oh, can I help? And of course, it's free labor at that point. I didn't realize it back, way back then. Right. Um, and she said, yes, but the same brochures need to be in each rack and they need to be straight. And I'm like, okay. And I, I said, why do you do that? And she said, there are a whole bunch of little motels in this town and people just drive up and down the road, stop in, ask if we have rooms and then buy my rooms. They never go see a room. They just buy it based on my office. So if my office is clean and nice, they buy my room. I said, really? And she goes, and I have the highest priced rooms on the street. And you're like, staying there. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, that is just brilliant. And I went home and I told my mother, went home to our hotel room and I said, I'm gonna be in the hotel business and I'm gonna be the boss and I'm gonna make a whole bunch of money. And then there that you go, moment, you set out on that journey. And, and from that moment on, I always think, what does my office look like? What, what, what um, kind of observations are people making um, when they're thinking about the place that, they, that we're welcoming them to? And of course, being the boss isn't what I want to be. I want to be a really good leader, and I want people to feel fulfilled about working here. And when they leave, I want them to say, oh my gosh, that was the greatest day in the world. Um, and that gives me great joy. Well, how many different hotels, resorts have you probably worked in since starting I, this business? I've worked in eight states um, in varying degrees of building hotels, resort communities, uh, mostly resorts, resort communities. Um, very fortunate that my husband is a pilot. And so we often joke that we've, we've been married for many years. We often joke that um, free flight, free hotels, why mess this up? <laughs> um, That's good. So it was, it was easier than most career women to move their spouse because he could then just bid from a different city to fly right. out of. Um, and you've so, made this your home. I mean, yes, Manchester, this is Palace Parties is now your home. You're stuck with me. We want to keep um, you. We want to keep it you. It is. I'm so happy to be here. What are your biggest challenges as you've now entered your five-year mark? And um, I'm just curious, like, you know, when, is it when the resort sold out? Because we hear about that more and more. Is it when you've got celebrities here because they're filming a big movie? Like, what are the challenges? Well, I think that the challenge in my mind right now is refresh. We're five years old, so we're working with our original designers. We're doing full refresh of, we're installing new carpet in the hallways and all the guest rooms. We're redoing this living room. Here we're redoing um, some of our restaurants. We're, it's just, it's time. We've, we've been very busy and so we need to stay with the original character of what, was, what we intended as we built, but then make it more functional because it, we're really a lot busier than we thought we would be. So doing that design work and refresh, um, when we're busy managing the, the amount of people in and out of the property, making sure that everybody's comfortable, everyone's safe. So on um, any given day, how many people could be on the grounds there? Um, we, could have, we could have a group of four or, five, four or 500 people in the ballroom. We could have another group down in the other ballrooms, people wandering around. So, mm -hmm. you know, 14, 15, 1600 people, and then all of our staff. I was uh, wondering about what's going on with the luxury real estate because everyone wonders what's happening with that, with the, um, the villas and yes. can you give us, let us know what's happening with those yes, sales. Yes, it's very exciting. We actually have had five new sales All right. since the beginning of 14. So it seems like everyone kind of, as you know, a real estate sales was slow, but I mean, everywhere, but five new sales. Um, it's very, there's a lot of um, energy. A lot of people are, are um, looking at our offering and realizing that um, even though it's a limited use, 
Um, so it's full ownership, partial occupancy. You you're call right. that legacy yeah. real estate, right? Is that how yes. it works? Yes, yes. And so, but people are realizing that that's not a um, deterrent because they're not going to use a second home that that many days anyway. And so you get two months in a casita and three months in a villa. But quite frankly, now people are that that came and looked at a casita last year, saying, "Oh, I'm going to look again." I'm saying, "No, oh, we just sold it." And the resort is so busy now that it's really uh, we can demonstrate to an owner that we can keep it um, relatively full once they do buy it. And once they're here on the grounds, there is so much to do there is. and so much great food to eat. And I'm not going to ask you to tell me your favorite food dishes because what we decided to do was to catch up with your executive chef mm -hmm. and, and find out about five fabulous food dishes that you would want to get here during the five year anniversary. And also five fun things to do. We're going to catch up with the community relations director. So stay tuned for all these exciting things coming right up here on our special on Terranea. I'm going to talk today about five fun things that you can do free here at Terranea. So we're going to start with the furthest westernmost point of the property. You can come in and see the Pelican statue. For those of you that haven't, uh, bronze was donated by the Ginsberg family some three years ago now. And there's a stunning uh, bronze of a pelican in flight up on the cliff. So come take a look at it. And then, of course, look across the cliffs and see the real thing fly by as well. So that's number one. Number two is, of course, walking the trails. And we invite you to walk the two mile trail at any time. Come grab a coffee while you do so, or stay for lunch, stay for dinner, but walk the trails completely free of charge. If you're very lucky in June, you might see the El Segundo Blue Butterfly, which is going to be coming out to celebrate our birthday of course. Um, and that's one of our great success stories that in planting indigenous plants, we have been very successful in bringing back this endangered species. So it's a federally endangered species and we have them here at Terranea. So come and see if you can spot the blue butterfly. At the other end of the trails on the easternmost part of the property, you can go down to the beach and watch the waves. You can walk on the rocks, throw rocks into the water with your kids and just simply watch the whales and occasionally see some of the seals that we have released with the Marine Mammal Care Center. So three would be the Terranea Cove. And then coming back on property, if you're lucky, you'll catch our falconer at work. He comes on property in the summer five days a week, in the winter three, and his job is to scare away all the seagulls that poop on our property. And so he is here to establish territory for his falcons and drive all of the bad birds away. So very fun, eco-friendly way for us to preserve the safety of our food and our guests from the seagulls. And then last but not least, you can join us on one of our established walks, which are also free of charge. We have one that involves the memories of marine land. We have tried to preserve the history of our property and of course, all of the memories of marine land. So you can come and at Point Discovery ask to participate in a marine land walk. And then you can go on an art walk and have a look, a guided walk at our art collection within the building. So you can start in the lobby, look at a lot of the art put there by the Portuguese Bend Artist Colony, and then wander around and see all of the wonderful, wonderful artwork that we have to offer. So there you go, five free things to do at Terranea. We hope you'll come join us and we look forward to seeing you. My name is Nikki Scotty. I am the culinary coordinator here at Terranea Resort. And here at Terranea, you can get um, a basic hamburger, all the way to fine dining experience at our Marcel restaurant. So we have some chefs that are going to come out and showcase five of our favorite dishes. However, here you can get so many different variations. We have so many favorites. We constantly change our menus. We try to stay, keep our ingredients fresh. Um, we try to stay with, you know, the latest trends that are going. So some people, you know, watch gluten. Some people watch, you know, different things in their diet. So we try to accommodate each one of those as well. My name's Chef Bruce. I'm Chef de Cuisine here at Terrané Resort. Been here since we opened now for the past two years. Been Chef de Cuisine at Bashi. Uh, we offer Asian-inspired cuisine. And uh, here I have our crispy fried whole fish served with a uh, chow fun noodles with Chinese sausage, bean sprouts, and a uh, black bean sauce. We offer everything for everybody. You know, uh, we have noodles, rice, we have our very famous shaking beef dish, 
Um, right here, this is our whole fish. We have a sushi bar as well. What I like about working here is the variety. I like being able to be part of a team with all types of different cuisines and cultures and being able to uh, take care of our guests. My name is Mona and I work at Nelson's. I'm chef de cuisine there. I'm originally from San Pedro, which is close by. And um, I've been here for just under a year. I love this place, it's beautiful. The view is amazing. I love coming to work every day. Um, today we're bringing the burrata burger and we like to bring it in um, around springtime and summer. It's nice and fresh and light. Um, it's a beef patty and then we have the heirloom tomatoes and it is marinated with pesto and then it's served with burrata cheese. It's beautiful. It's really well, I'm Michael Cruz. I work in Catalina Kitchen. I'm the sous chef there. I've been here now five years. Um, I love being a part of this community. Uh, we get to meet lots of locals and they, they're um, very loyal customers. I get to use a lot of local ingredients from around the beautiful area. The property, we have gardens, we have herbs, uh, we have a farm. So it's very fun as a chef. Today we have our lobster linguine that's featured on our dinner menu in Catalina Kitchen. Um, it's fresh linguine pasta in a saffron tomato broth with garlic and English peas. And it's tossed with arugula. It has a seven ounce grilled main lobster tail on top and a little bit of a lobster. We change the menu seasonally. Um, right now we're moving into summer and we're gonna offer a lot of new steaks and seafood options, uh, family style options, new appetizers. So join us in Catalina Kitchen. My name is Jennifer Highland. I'm the sous chef at Marcel at Terranea Resort. Uh, I've been here almost three and a half years and it's just been great to see the resort grow and our local community, how involved they've been getting in our restaurant over the past few years. And, you know, it's just a great opportunity, a great space to work. So I chose our uh, grilled Spanish octopus and it's been on the menu since we opened. So it is one of our signature dishes at Marcel. Um, it's served as an appetizer, and we have the grilled Spanish octopus that we cook um, in a sous vide, which is a, a very slow uh, water bath type of cooking. So this dish is actually cooked for five hours. Uh, we get the octopus whole and then cook it for five hours. Once it's t super tender, pull all the tentacles off, because you can see there's no tentacles, which people are used to seeing. Um, and then it's just super tender. We throw it on the grill just to get a little char on it. And it's served with a, a salsa verde, which is a very traditional Spanish sauce. And then you have a Spanish chorizo, crispy potatoes, and piquillo peppers. Good afternoon, my name is Rafael Gonzalez. I'm the assistant pastry chef here at Terranea Resort. Been working here for about two years now. I love this place, it's a beautiful place to work at to come and visit, bring the family and everything like that. It's a beautiful place. Here we have uh, our famous signature chocolate chip cookie. Um, very rich in chocolate. A lot, of, um, a lot of people from all over the states come and pick up this particular cookie. Um, very, very famous here, gold medal recipe. Um, right here on my right, we have our uh, ice cream sandwiches. Um, we build it here in house. Any flavor, any, any size you would like it, we can customize anything. We, everything ranges from small cookies, sandwiches, to wedding cakes, and all kinds of exquisite um, pastries. Uh, we, have, we also offer um, gluten-free items as well, low-calorie low, low items as well for um, those that are dieting. Just, we have something for everyone out there. Now, after seeing that segment and all the amazing food you have here, I think I'm going to go grab a pretzel from Nelson's. <laughs> Simple but amazing every time I'm here. Um, so we have time to wrap it up here. Anything you want to add as you are now celebrating five years? Well, first of all, thank you to you and being such a great support to us at every juncture all the <laughs> way through. Um, it's really been amazing. And to the community, it's just an amazing um, milestone that's five years but the community has really been a support to us and I'd like to thank them. Again thank you Terry Hack for taking the time out to be with us. Congratulations again on your fifth year anniversary. Look forward to many more memories thank you. and stories here. And that's going to do it for this edition of Around the Peninsula. You can check out Terranea's website at terranea.com. Thanks for being with us and I hope to see you right here at the resort. Take care everybody.